those UVN coordinate system in moving a surface. And we're going to use the arrow keys along with the page up and page down. We have a surface in front of you with some control points. Now, the UVN each go in a separate direction. You could call them X, Y, and Z. But when you're looking at a surface, it's very difficult to know what that direction is. So the first thing I want to show you is the Rhino gave us the DIR command. Select the object. Now, if you look here, we have a white arrow, which is our N direction, pretty much our Z, a green arrow, which is our V, which is our, to me, is the Y coordinate system, and the red, which is U, is the X. Now, if you remote rotate the model around, you can see how you can get easily confused, but this makes a really nice system for you to figure it out. So we can, there you go. All right, now I have to press Enter. Now, to turn on the Rhino UVN, we type the command move UVN, enter, and up comes the slider bar. Let's select a control point here. Now, one of the things about moving is you can move the sliders, and you can see the control point move, but it's a visual. It's not very accurate. You really don't have a tremendous amount of control. There goes our U in our X direction, and now we'll do our V in our Y. And then this is N and our Z. Now, we could just as easily use the arrow keys and the page up, page down. We have our control point highlighted. If I hold Alt down and right arrow key, you can see we're nudging along in the X direction positively. Left arrow key would be the X negatively. Again, if I go up arrow, it will be positive Y. Down arrow, negative Y. Page up is going to be positive Z. Page down is going to be negative Z. Very nice. Thank you.